Somewhere tonight, a bobcat is standing over a deer that it didn't kill cleanly. The animal still breathing while the bobcat waits, unhurried, because this isn't about strength but patience and knowing exactly when to act. A house cat kills what it can eat. A bobcat kills what it can't. They share most of their DNA. Yet one learned to live beside us, while the other stayed wild, precise, and unforgiving. Stay with us to the end and uncover why male bobcats eliminate kittens that aren't theirs. A 15-pound bobcat can bring down an adult deer, though usually it's the young, injured, or snow-trapped. When they attack larger prey, they leap onto the back, sink claws deep, and bite the neck or throat, sometimes targeting the base of the skull, sometimes going for suffocation. The method varies. The persistence doesn't. The struggle can last minutes. When it ends, the bobcat faces a new problem. It can't eat that much meat before scavengers arrive, so it covers the carcass with leaves, dirt, snow, whatever's available, and returns repeatedly. The meat spoils in warm weather, freezes in cold. The bobcat doesn't care. It will feed on that cash until it's gone or stolen. Bobcats don't defend boundaries. They defend schedules. Multiple cats use the same trails, hunting grounds, water sources, but rarely simultaneously. Even with heavily overlapping territories, direct encounters remain uncommon. They communicate through chemistry. Urine sprays announce presence. Feces declare ownership. Scrapes indicate agitation. Gland secretions from cheek rubs convey individual identity. A single prominent tree might carry marks from multiple bobcats accumulated over months, a bulletin board of chemical information. They know exactly who's around and when they pass through. Territory isn't held by fighting. It's negotiated through scent and timing. Los Angeles bobcats trapped by freeways show genetic differentiation after just 50 years. UCLA researchers documented distinct markers in populations separated by two different freeways. The isolation creates unique pressures, disease, toxicants, limited breeding options. More interesting is behavioral change. Urban bobcats show reduced fear of human activity. They den under decks, hunt in backyards, raise kittens in storm drains. In Thousand Oaks, a female raised her litter in a playground crawl space, while children played overhead daily. The staff thought they were stray cats until one was photographed carrying a full-grown rabbit. Bobcats hunt using sight, hearing, and scent in combination. They detect prey through body odor, urine marks, and bedding sites. They follow trails hours or days old, tracking where prey traveled, rested, fed. They're not just following the animal, they're following its habits. A rabbit that passed through yesterday leaves enough scent for a bobcat to predict its return route. The hunt often ends where the trail begins, at the den or burrow the prey returns to. They combine this with exceptional hearing to pinpoint prey under snow or in dense cover, and binocular vision for the final strike. Bobcat kittens emerge with distinctive white spots behind their ears that sometimes fade by four months or stay with them their whole lives. These may function as false eyes, making predators think the kitten is watching even when facing away, or they might help mothers track kittens in dark dens. The true purpose remains debated. Kittens are born blind and helpless, weighing less than a can of soda. The white ear spots are one of their only defenses during the most vulnerable weeks. Bobcats produce various vocalizations, but their scream is legendary. It sounds like a guttural growl, or sometimes a woman shrieking or a person in pain. The sound can carry long distances and triggers fear responses in most mammals. During mating season, these screams serve as long-distance communication between potential mates. The rest of the year, they're likely territorial announcements. The acoustic properties, hitting multiple frequency ranges simultaneously, make the sound particularly unsettling to mammalian ears. Next up after this video, check out our video on bobcat sounds. You won't be disappointed. Bobcats regularly kill and eat rattlesnakes. 
While not immune to venom, outcomes vary. Some bites prove fatal, others cause temporary illness. They hunt snakes cautiously, especially in winter when snakes move slowly. They pin the snake with a paw, targeting the head. The kill isn't clean. They might spend ten minutes batting at a snake, wearing it down, avoiding strikes, until they can deliver a killing bite to the head. They'll eat the entire snake, venom glands and all. It's risk and reward. Protein worth the danger. Bobcats cache excess food under leaves, snow, or dirt, returning days later. This behavior intensifies in winter when deep snow handicaps prey. They'll kill multiple rabbits in succession, eating little from each. What looks like waste is actually food banking. The snow preserves kills like a natural freezer. The bobcat returns to these caches over weeks, long after fresh hunting becomes difficult. GPS tracking shows them returning to caches in sequence, demonstrating remarkable spatial memory. They're managing a distributed food storage system across their entire territory. Bobcat mothers bring prey back to the den, sometimes dead, sometimes alive but injured. The kittens must participate in or complete the kill. Early prey is small and severely impaired. As kittens develop, prey becomes larger, less injured, more challenging. It's graduated learning. Too easy and they don't develop skills. Too hard and they fail to thrive. The margin for error is narrow. Mothers who lose litters often show poor calibration in these teaching moments, bringing prey that's too dangerous or too difficult for their kitten's developmental stage. Bobcats have exceptional spinal flexibility that acts as a spring-loading mechanism. The spine stores energy during compression and releases it during leaps. High-speed photography reveals this two-stage propulsion, spine compression followed by simultaneous back extension and leg push. This allows bobcats to pounce from seated positions without a warning crouch. They're capable of powerful horizontal leaps, often sighted as 10 to 12 feet. Though exact distances vary with conditions and individual size, the spring is always loaded. They don't need to telegraph their attacks. Isolated bobcat populations demonstrate measurable change over time. Geographic barriers, highways, water, development, create distinct populations with different characteristics. New Jersey's bobcat population, nearly extinct in 1970, has recovered through immigration and now thrives. The mixing of different source populations created genetic diversity. Meanwhile, some isolated populations face challenges from limited genetic diversity. Small populations with restricted breeding options become vulnerable to disease and environmental changes. Same species, same time frame, different trajectories based on connectivity and isolation. Male infanticide is documented across many carnivore species as a reproductive strategy. In bobcats, kitten mortality is high from various causes, predation, starvation, disease, and sometimes adult males. A female with dependent kittens won't mate. A female who loses kittens can enter estrus within days. When males encounter kittens during breeding season range expansions, the outcome often depends on whether the male was present during the previous breeding cycle. Females respond by moving kittens frequently, sometimes every few days, trying to avoid detection. The behavior appears more common when male territories shift or new males move into an area. The house cat on your lap and the bobcat in your woods diverged ages ago. One trades purrs for food. The other maintains complex mental maps of cache sites while calculating reproductive opportunities through infanticide. The bobcat doesn't care that we've named it, studied it, tracked its every movement with satellites. It continues its primal work, banking calories in snow, teaching through graduated violence, making reproductive decisions with cold logic. Tomorrow night while you sleep, a bobcat will kill something many times its size. It will cover the corpse with debris and walk away, remembering exactly where and when to return. If you found this video interesting, like it, subscribe, and hit that bell to be notified every time we drop a new awesome wildlife video. Next up, we have haunting bobcat sounds. 